So we started looking very early at that, and we started having conversations probably about two weeks ago internally. Dr. Brian Wilcox from St. Thomas says as the coronavirus spread in other countries, the potential shortage of personal protective equipment became a top of mind concern. That's why he insists that here at St. Thomas Hospital for Specialty Surgery, surgeons were already looking at canceling elective procedures. Elective surgeries by definition are surgeries that could be postponed. Well, yes, elective for us medically means we have the ability to often delay, postpone, or reschedule safely. And, and yet that's where the decision uh, for doing elective or non-elective operations uh, is really hinged right now is what can we do safely for patients in terms of delay, postponement, or rescheduling, and yet what do we actually need to do right now because there's risk to the patient. It's an issue surgeons have been debating. On Friday, March 13th, the American College of Surgeons recommended that medical facilities should minimize, postpone, or cancel electively scheduled operations. The next day, the U.S. Surgeon General tweeted, please consider stopping elective procedures. On March 15th, the Federal Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services issued guidance that facilities should limit all non-essential planned surgeries and procedures until further notice. But then three days later, the chief nursing officer for the Hospital for Specialty Surgery emailed staff, at this point, we will continue with all elective procedures. Uh, as part of the leadership team here at St. Thomas, we've been really clear with our hospitals, our medical staff, and our surgeons what our expectations are. Today, I signed Executive Order 18, which prohibits hospitals and outpatient surgery centers from performing elective surgeries. On Monday, the governor ordered that all elective surgeries should be canceled, but patients were still showing up early Tuesday morning for procedures. Internally, some staff worried that some might be considered elective. An internal email sent yesterday said the facility had immediately canceled all joint replacement surgery, which was specifically listed in the governor's order. But it wasn't until Tuesday, the day we started asking questions, that physician staff met and outlined temporary policies. Now, any scheduled surgical procedure will be reviewed by a committee. Well, I would say that we are uh, fire hose drinking, so to speak, in terms of policy and procedures and directives. We're building processes literally every day that change in response to what we know today that we didn't know yesterday. So it's been hard to keep up in, in this environment. Well, I would say the good news is there's 24 hours in every day, and we're using almost all of them. Dr. Wilcox says what one surgeon may see as elective, another equally qualified physician may see as medically necessary. That's why all such decisions are being run through a committee to decide what is in the best interest of the patient. Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates.